So some of you are asking right now, why have I waited so long to talk about an issue that nobody cares about anymore? Uh, because this is not a news channel. Uh, if you want news, go to Modin or Headless YouTuber. All right, let's get right into it. In Ghana, when you mention the name Sonny, only one guy comes to mind. Sonny, Sonny, Mama, Mama. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> That's Sonny. Sonny Achiba is a legend, but the name that comes to most people's mind when you mention Sonny these days is Sonny Badu. Wait, is it Sonny Badu or Sonny Bedu or Sonny Badu? It is mm -hmm. Sonny Badu. Ah, nothing. Just mix them. If you don't know him, Sonny Badu is a preacher, a singer, and every single thing in this world. I write books. Author. Mm -hmm. I'm an image consultant. A preacher, he's a singer, he's a worshiper, he's an author, he's a philanthropist. You're everything. Designer. You're a designer to. We're going into movies too. Because I'm into real estate still. Even the things that he's not, he could be. I could have been a scientist. He's also a very, very good looking man with beautiful natural hair that your girl could only dream of. I mean, don't, don't even lie, your girlfriend doesn't have hair as beautiful as this. One of my favorite things about Mr. Sonny Beardy is... <laughs> favorite things about Mr. Sonny Beardy is his voice. I mean, the guy speaks with this low husky... Hey, look, hold on, hold on. I mean, the man speaks with this very low husky voice tell you when god calls you and you don't respond that when he speaks you listen you'll end up in the whale's mouth and sometimes when he's talking his energy will go up and he will start to quote scripture like david said the other day his brothers hated him so much and then his voice will come back down and he'll smile <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> like this all the time this is how he talks <laughs> that, that's a terrible impression, but I'm telling you, the guy speaks so well, his voice is so good that if you if you listen to him, you're hooked, and he, he, he can make you believe anything. Now, another thing you should know about Mr. Badu is that this guy has mastered the art of the humble brag. I have never ever seen anybody who can brag and still look humble like Mr. Badu does, ever. When people see me, they think, oh, he has money. Yes, I've worked very hard. What? And I'm a minister full time, and every single year my income increases. It doubles. By the grace of God, I help the world to discover African music from a different perspective. I brought excellence to Africa. Now I go back home, and the police dispatch are taking me right from the tarmac, and VIP, security, and I'm like, God. I've come so far. Boy. Okay, now let's get serious. So right now everybody knows about the issues with the degrees and stuff that happened a couple of months ago. I'm not here to see whether the degrees are real or they're fake. I don't have that information. There's a lot of information out there that you can find out right now. So as usual, people came for him on social media and he made some response videos. And I know I said he was the king of humble bragging, but in this video, Mr. Badu went full flex mode on the haters. He did not hold back. Somebody has the audacity to question my presidential lifetime achievement award to question my honorary citizenship, my keys to the state, the city of Brentwood. Do you know what it actually means? But you're busy trending and there's adverts playing. You're making money. You're making money. That's not nice. Stop making money with my name, guys. You're making money. Stop it, okay? No, no, no. Um, Odifo, don't insult anybody. I don't want you to insult anybody. Please don't. Don't, don't insult anybody. Don't tell anybody somebody's better than them. No, 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 no. Odifo, uh, uh, please don't insult anybody. Don't tell anybody that somebody is better than them and all that stuff. I'll do that myself. You see, I don't think we can walk past each other if they see me or even here. I don't, I don't think so we can cross paths, but I respect everybody. You guys are not even on my level, okay? You guys are not even, I don't think we can even cross paths over here anywhere. I don't think we can cross paths. You guys are not high profile enough to be in the same room as me. Come on. But I respect everybody. I don't think we can even cross paths. I don't think so. But I respect everybody. I mean, you could buy a plane ticket and come to America and come to my church and we'll probably walk past each other. But you guys can't do that. All you YouTube boys and guys in the comments, you're broke. You, you, can't, you can't walk past me. But I respect everybody. I respect everybody's hard work. But do not take somebody's hard work, okay? Don't do it and then allow people to insult them and you're happy. Yay, I'm making money. Yay, on YouTube, my lawyers will come. The money you're making, give. you're going to come to America. I'll give you an invitation to come to America to come and prove whatever you say. I don't mind doing that. I can give you that invitation. I can do that. Hey, Mr. Badu, yo, listen, I'm ready, bro. Listen, sue me. I'll come to America. Give me that invitation. Even, even though I haven't said anything, <laughs> just... <laughs>
Okay, please, can you also, can you promote my book for me? Can you please promote it? I've written so many books. Can you promote it? Can you promote it for me? No. Guys, Mr. Sonny Badu has written, I don't know, 48 books right now. Please, please buy his books, okay? I'll put the links in the description. I mean, they cost like $40 and stuff like that, which is like 200 CDs, which is uh, probably more than 40% of national service income. But listen, buy the books, okay? I'll look for them and buy them. If I can find them, I'll buy them. So yeah, please please buy Mr. Badu's books, okay? We, we don't want that. People have worked so hard to attain what they're doing, minding my business. Why? I don't even live in Ghana. Guys, he doesn't even live in Ghana. Why are you talking about him? I mean, he's Ghanaian. And he used to live in Ghana. This is where most of his fan base is. But he doesn't live here. So, like, why are you guys worrying? Why are you worrying my man? <laughs> why? <laughs> Look at somebody. Why don't you put your face out? Master, self deceiving yourself. I've been in ministry 28 years, write books. I have a church here. You, where are you? That's the thing. Where, what are you actually doing? Then Yes, you in the comments. What have you done? Where, where are you? I don't know you, but somehow I just assume that you haven't done anything in your life. So show your head. Uh, me, I've been in ministry, done all these things, and uh, where are you? You come to talk to me, Mr. Bidu? <laughs> you wanna talk? You wanna? You wanna trash, Mr. Bidu? Me? <laughs> uh, in this interview with Miss G, which I think everybody should watch, she brought out the issue of uh, when he said frogs don't eat spaghetti with lions or something like that, and it made him laugh. And <laughs> the laughter. Lions. Uh! Don't, you know? <laughs> I, I think I listened to. Uh, watching closely, it's like he took a breath, like I was about to sing a note, and then he let it out melodically. The frogs and lions. Uh! Don't, you know? <laughs> I, I, I think I listened to. And one, and two, and one. Wait, sorry, uh, Mr. Badu, can you please give us the key again? Uh! Two and three and four. Uh! <laughs> Okay, enough of that. Hey, yeah, yeah, Mr. Badu, it's all just jokes. Don't invite me to America. I mean, invite me, sue me. I, I don't mind doing that. I can give you that invitation. I can do that. And while everybody was looking at the obvious stuff, I decided to look at the situation from a different perspective. And something stuck out to me. And it's something that I've been thinking about for a long time, but it really jumped out to me when I saw Mr. Badu's videos. It's something most celebrities and people in power do. I like to call it selective positivity. It's not an official term. It's something I came up with to explain this. It's something you've heard so many times, but I didn't know it. Celebrities and people in power use it a lot. As especially when they're in trouble. It goes something like this. Uh, you are being dragged on social media right now. People say that you robbed the bank and they want the money back. What do you want? Uh, what do you have to say to the people? But why are people so focused on the negativity? Why are people so focused on the negative things I've done? So many people on earth I have helped. So many people in heaven I have helped. So many people in hell I have helped. I bought original Kente cloth for all the angels. And somehow people always want to focus on the, the negative things I've done. Why are we tearing each other down? Uh, are you asking for people to focus on the po on the positive because you happen to have a negative situation and you want to take the attention off it? No, no, no. That's not that's not why. No, that what? Ah! Okay, it doesn't go like that. But usually, when a celebrity has a scandal, you hear them say two things. First of all, they blame the media for pushing negative news, and then they blame the people for focusing more on negative news than positive news. It's like what Mr. Bedu was doing in these videos where he was saying, well, you guys have not promoted my book, but you're talking about this thing that has come about me. Which is true, and it is a problem, but for good reason. Now, here's the thing. You and I can agree that insults and abuse, they are just wrong. They are inexcusable. But this other extreme that people go to where they start crying for positivity as soon as something negative comes around their name, to me that's a smoke screen. It's misdirection. You are blowing smoke in the people's faces. Now this is not a dig at Mr. Bedou himself because I don't think he did anything wrong. I think his situation was just one where the information was unclear. And he didn't do himself any good by not explaining it immediately. Instead he went to make the videos and he started talking a lot and then he went on TV and said more things and people just ran with that and he became very very messy. I guess just waiting for you guys to email him so that he will come down to your level and answer the questions <laughs> i'm not too big not to come down to any level to chat i love to chat which is why i don't do breaking news because when something happens your energy goes up and people just jammed on it and made videos without any information because i am about to descend which to me as a if you are a journalist or you are a media person i don't think it's right i think you should get more information before you jump on issues like that especially if you're going to make judgmental statements like no the degree is fake or something like that they have confirmed all these fake doctorate and things from you but hey i digress
But this, this was a classic example of selective positivity. When Mr. Badu, who was in the hot seat for something negative, wanted people to focus on his positive stuff and focus on his books and his ministry and all that, when he still hadn't answered the questions yet. Imagine going to court for a petty crime and instead of defending yourself, you tell the judge, oh my lord, we don't know yet if I committed a crime. Uh, I haven't explained my side of the story yet. But look at all the good things I've done. You, you guys you guys should just let me go because I've done all these good things. Even if I did this one, we don't know yet. You guys should still let me go because I've done all these good things. That's not going to happen. <laughs> That's not how it works. Now here's the weird thing. Most of us who complain that people only focus on our negative side and they only ignore our positive side. We ourselves don't focus on our own positivity as much especially celebrities and people in power listen nobody in the world gets more positive reinforcements than celebrities 24 7 people are singing their praises and stroking their ego and they don't pay as much attention to those people as they do to the people who insult them if right now you went and wrote very nice things about Mr. Badu on his Facebook or his Instagram, you probably get a nice thank you or like a like or something like that. I mean, I don't know him, so I don't know how he responds to these kind of things. But I doubt you will get the same passion and energy with which he used to respond to the degree situation. I said so many nice things about him in the beginning of the video. But if Mr. Badu is watching this video right now, guess what he's focusing on right now? Anything negative. Most people just react to the negative more than they react to the positive. There's even science to back it. According to research, it's an effective survival strategy. We all as humans have a negative bias because way, 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 way back, ignoring negative information was more dangerous than focusing on positive information. If a lion is about to attack the tribe, that is something you should focus on rather than if your friend builds a clay house. Now guys, you need to understand this. This is not for celebrities or for Mr. Badu or anybody in particular. This is for all of us. Positivity should be the standard of any society. Positivity should be the norm and the norm rarely gets attention. When positivity is the norm, the standards for doing good are raised such that you have to do something exceptional to get a reward and that pushes the society to be better. That makes people want to do better things. Yes, we should applaud people for doing good things but we want a society where people do good things because it's the right thing to do not because they'll get some kind of reward and we want people to avoid doing bad things because they'll get called out by the public. Nobody should give you a medal for being nice to your friend. That's what you should do. But somebody should call you out. Many people should call you out if you are mean to another person. And if you study hard and one day you build a spaceship, then we'll give you an award. And yes, I agree with you. Sometimes calling out negativity can go too far. People start trolling. And again, you and I can agree that insults and abuse are wrong. No question. But we have to stop calling for human beings to live in this ideal, positive, perfect world that does not and will never ever exist. It can be an annoying world, especially when you happen to be on the chopping board. We wish it could be different. We wish we could actually get a dime for every single time we do something good. But it's not so. So a group of philosophers came together one night in the presence of a lot of smoke and these great minds reasoned together and came up with the perfect answer for all these problems. Now, I don't know their names, but this is what they said. <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. So if you and I ever happen to fall in trouble and it looks as if everybody has forgotten all the positive things we've done, just remember what the philosophers said. It is what it is. It is what it is. There's nothing more I can say. Great minds have spoken. I still wouldn't ask you to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. I will ask you to leave a comment. Let me know if you disagree with me or whether or not you agree with me. I'll see you soon in the next video. Take care. All right. I love you. <laughs>